More than any other animal, the wolf features prominently in folk tales and cultural icons. Many works of art and literature use the wolf to represent the wilderness. Wolves once roamed much of the present-day United States and Canada north of Mexico City, though possibly not all of California. Shortly after European settlers arrived in North America, efforts began to eradicate the gray and red wolf populations. Wolves are ubiquitous and can be spotted anywhere from the tropical rainforests of the southeast panhandle to the Arctic tundra of the Beaufort Sea. Gray wolves, red wolves, Canis rufus, and Mexican gray wolves, a subspecies of the gray wolf, are the three types of wolves found in the United States. Protecting the gray wolf is a top priority. The population of these stunning creatures has increased to the point where they can be removed from the endangered species list in many regions, despite having been added in 1974. Gray wolves have moved into their old territory. There are only a small number of gray wolves and red wolves left in Mexico, and they are only found in rural areas. The wolves can be found in many places now. Alaska is home to the largest pack of gray wolves in the United States. Infamous for housing anywhere from 7,000 to 11,000 wolves at one time. There has never been a time when Alaska's wolf population was in jeopardy of disappearing entirely. These wolves inhabit a wide range of habitats, from the frozen tundra to the lush tropics. In addition to their importance in keeping the ecosystem in check, wolves in Alaska are also a major tourist draw. Tourists from all over the world visit this state to see wolves in their natural environment. The Pacific Northwest and Northern Rockies are rife with wolf sightings, but only a select few states have hunting seasons. Wolf hunting is legal only in Alaska, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Because of a lawsuit filed in December by animal rights activists, hunting of wolves in Wisconsin is now illegal. Last time there was a wolf hunt in Wisconsin, a lot more wolves were taken. The hunt resulted in the deaths of 200 wolves, who were all in the process of trying to start a family. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources is already preparing for future hunting seasons. During subsistence and sport hunting seasons, Alaskans can take advantage of the state's high wolf population. Almost the entire state of Alaska is home to distinct cultural communities and rural people who rely on hunting for a living. Those who aren't Alaska residents but still want to hunt wolves can do so for a reasonable price by purchasing a wolf tag. A visitor from out of town can purchase one for less than $80. The states have different dates for when wolves can be hunted legally. Even within a single state, there may be local variations in the length and start slash end dates of each season. There are 19 chronic depredation units in Idaho where wolf hunting is permitted year-round. This season runs from August 1st to June 30th in southwestern and central southern Idaho. You must check the hunting regulations of the state you plan to visit. The start and end of the season can vary from year to year based on the wolf population in that area, 